is this is a what's in the box uh, Santorini now this is the new version that you can find at Target and other retailers um, it's a little bit slightly different from the previous, I think, Kickstarter version. Um, one notable thing is they put a sticker on here with the designer's name. I don't know if that was a error, but there's just like a white box behind it, I guess. So I'm assuming they intended it to be a sticker in case maybe they didn't want to put the author's name on it. I don't know. Um, anyway, it's primarily a two-player game, but it can also be, be, be played four players. And it's an abstract uh, strategy game. Um, I haven't played it yet, but we can take a look and see what is in the box. Um, there's little people workers, it looks like. Um, all of the cool plastic pieces. Um, they come you know, pre-punched in bags, I believe. So you don't have to worry about uh, that. You have your stand. More, even more plastic pieces, which make a lot of noise, but lots more plastic pieces. The little caps for the buildings, and all of the god cards. So here we have like all the different god cards, which I think the art on the god cards is really good and really cool looking. I think it's you know a cool aspect of the game, I would say, and the rules. So. Uh, there you have it, all the all the stuff uh, for what's in Santorini. Um, once I get a chance to play this game, hopefully I can do a do a review for you guys. But uh, if you saw the reviews on Board Game Geek, I think it's going to be a, a pretty popular game, especially now that they've really brought the price down to a point where uh, I think you can buy it. You know, you can buy it at Target for thirty dollars and on sale. You know, as low as maybe like twenty five or twenty. Again, uh, Santorini, uh, what's in the box?